Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome to the battery shop. The battery in this vehicle is located right here under the hood. and It's easy to get to. Before we begin, check with the manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to be sure you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in this vehicle. Here's how it's done. We are using a memory saver to keep the vehicle's computer's memories alive when the battery is being replaced. With gloves and safety glasses on, the first step is to loosen the fastener for the negative battery cable. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for that. And remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. Next, loosen the fastener for the positive battery cable. You'll need your 10 millimeter wrench again. Then, remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. And set it off to the side. The next step is to loosen the fasteners for the battery hold down bracket. And you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. and remove the battery hold down bracket and J bolts. The next step is to remove the battery's heat shield. Now we can remove the old battery. We are using our battery lifting tool that we got at a local auto parts retailer. and install the replacement battery. Next, reinstall the battery's heat shield. Now we can reinstall the battery's hold down bracket and J-bolts. and retighten the fasteners. It's always good practice to clean the terminals when reinstalling a replacement battery. And the battery cable clamps. The next step is to reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal. But don't pound these clamps on because this can cause internal battery damage. And tighten the fastener. And finally, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal. And tighten the fastener. Ensure all connections are tight. Many late model vehicles have to have the replacement battery registered or coded with the vehicle's battery management system. Refer to the service and repair manual for your vehicle to see if this needs to be done. If so, check out our videos on how to do this. The links to them are in the video's description below.